Being alone doesn't have to feel empty. The best relationship you can have is with yourself. Solitude isn't isolation. It's not avoiding or running away from your fears. It's about finding your inner peace and loving every moment with yourself. Hi loves, how's it going? It's Anne. Welcome to my channel. I want to talk about being alone and why it's so good for you. Uh, I know that <laughs> a lot of people probably think by now that I love being alone and I'm such a loner by now, but whatever. Um, I used to be ashamed of being alone because it used to be deemed as something like as if you have social issues or that you're such a loser <laughs> for being alone. Uh, I remember I went out to eat, uh, have some pizza by myself once and I came back and I told my friends that I went out to eat by myself and they were just like, you went by yourself? Like as if that's so weird and they felt sorry for me. <laughs> it was back in college, but I think people are more open to that and especially if you live in the city, it's kind of okay to go out and have some me time, have a date with yourself. Um, it's it's just so important to just embrace that time by yourself and allow yourself to go within, allow yourself to process your thoughts and also meditate. Um, meditation doesn't have to mean you necessarily have to sit there and you know close your eyes and and recite a mantra. It can be just you know talking to yourself, talking to God, talking to the universe. You know just diving within and just allowing yourself to process everything that has been going on in your life. And for me, you know, I don't do this all the time, but I like to balance my life with some alone time and sometimes with friends, um, just so that way life doesn't have to feel so overwhelming. I don't know about you, but for me, I feel like life is just getting busier and busier and we just stretch ourselves too thin with everything that's going on we give everyone else more time than we give to ourselves, and at the end of the night at the end of the day you're just like wow i barely got to spend any time to myself i started to say no to a lot of things last year so that way i can allow myself to have more time and just process all the things that i have not been um, thinking about or i have been pushing to the side or just avoiding it is a scary thing to just to spend time alone with you because sometimes we don't want to face our issues or we don't want to face our problems and it's easier for us to just run away from it or do something else and kind of push it to the side um, all that kind of bubbles up later on and you know it's all going to come out sooner or later so you might as well deal with it but deal with it in a peaceful way with yourself right so sometimes you know things don't turn out exactly as we would like for it to be i mean if there's happiness there is also sadness so there's always opposite and there's always that contrast there for you to evolve you are going to have to experience things that you don't necessarily like all the time and for some of us that's hard to deal with you know you don't want to face that and it's easier for you to go out do other things and get distracted but when you're spending time alone you're facing it and you're you're, you're learning how to be strong you're learning how to face your problems, face your issues, and move on from it, you know? You are the creator of your life, you know? You have the option to say no to things. You have the option to like move forward and move on and evolve from where you are right now. You can go for a walk, a nice hike if you like nature. You can make yourself a nice hot cup of tea and just relax and just be in the moment, be present, and just let all your thoughts process then, or you can write in a journal, go to a local cafe. That's something I love to do is go to a local cafe and just like either read a book or write in my journal. It feels very relaxing. Um, some people love going to the beach because the sound of the ocean is just so relaxing and to get fresh air or be surrounded by nature is also really soothing and I love it. There's just so many ways that you can spend time alone. 
You don't need one hour, you don't need a whole day to be alone. If you feel very, very overwhelmed, at least take five minutes out, go out in your patio and just, you know, sit there, take a breather, sit under the stars, have a cup of tea, or make yourself a nice bath and just relax. Let yourself um, just be in control of your mind again. Don't let all that craziness, everything from the outside take over you. Don't let stress take over you. Be in control of your life again and just allow yourself to be the creator of your life. So thank you so much for joining me in today's conversation. If you have some ideas on how, or if you want to share with everyone on how you love to spend time with yourself, make sure to comment in the comment section below this video so that way we can all be a part of this conversation. Encourage each other that we should give ourselves permission to to be in charge of our lives again. Um, it's just so, you know, it, it's really helpful to just get back on track because once you're in charge of your life again, like everybody else around you will feel that confident and will also, you know, um, see you as a great shining example. And the example you set will only help others out. So we can only move forward from here. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Give this video a thumbs up. I love you. And I will see you next weekend. Ciao.